Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the group Iron Man series. Last episode we left off having just finished A Kingdom Divided as well as getting 100% favor in all of the houses over on Isaiah uh, as a prerequisite to that quest obviously as well as we knocked out a ton of other quests that have kind of been left to the wayside from our Barrow's Gloves push originally before the series started. Um, as the at near the end of last episode we did kind of uh get into a little bit of what the plans of the future are uh i don't want to make any hard commitments on what this episode kind of translates out to um we have got a lot on our plate as far as long-term skilling grinds go um as well as we've got to get the starting cash for those grinds uh, as you can see right now, we're just kind of fletching some maple longbows. We do have 65 fletching banked. That's going to be really useful to get out of the way now early because also uh, it gives us a little bit more flexibility in how we want to gain our starter cash for some of these grinds coming up. So our immediate goals are basically money. Ooh, 60 fletching coming in. Uh, we can now make Addy arrows. So it give this episode lots of cash. Uh, that is the goal. We are probably going to obtain that cash through Slayer. Uh, I really want to get up to 75 Slayer because that unlocks gargoyles as a task, as well as the ability for us to camp it off task just for the alkables as well as the supply drops they drop gold ore they drop steel bars mithril bars loose cash uh it, it just overall stuff that's going to be really really nice to have uh for a money making side of things as well as uh, some supplies that is it's going to save us a couple of world hops hopefully when it comes to buying gold ore uh long term goals is uh 70 mining i think is a prereq for some of the quests coming up later on down the road like dragon slayer 2 song of the elves things like that as well as uh, 73 smithing now 73 smithing will give us the ability to make adamant bolts which aren't necessarily useful to us on their own right but we are pushing for the 65 fleshing fletching and at 65 fletching we can uh put the ruby tips the diamond tips on those adamant bolts which once enchanted gonna be really useful for bossing gonna be really useful for uh some of the later game quests such as like dragon slayer 2 and since we're gonna be using the gold ore method from blast furnace furnace to get our smithing up we can also in turn craft the gold bars into gold bracelets which uh, will be some crafting XP. I believe it's going to get us up in the realm of 71, 72, which is really close to the threshold of 75 for Slayer Ring. So we'll probably just top that off with glass. Uh, glass blowing. We've got, I want to say, 4,000 buckets of sand and another 4 million seaweed banked. Uh, we also completed the Lunar Diplomacy quest last uh, last episode to make that not such a nightmare to actually uh, create. Um, yeah, we're just, uh, this episode, lots of Slayer with not so much uh, an initial focus on cash, I guess, since we are mostly going for XP to get to um, the 75 mark. But overall, it's, it's just a, it's a rat race for money. That's kind of where we're at right now on the account's lifespan. Uh, loose numbers that we're looking at cash-wise is probably around 6 million gold to do the gold ore method at the blast furnace with the gold gauntlets. Uh, then we have nature runes we gotta buy, astral runes we gotta buy, We'll get some of this money back, obviously, from high alking the gold bracelets at the end of this initial grind. But uh, yeah, we've got a long road ahead of us. So I'm gonna just finish up fletching these longbows. We'll come in whenever we get some level thresholds. Um, this gives us this gives us the opportunity to, if you know, Slayer becomes a slog, we can mix it up with some agility pyramid and alk these longbows while we do it. 
I'm just really trying to avoid agility pyramid just for the sake of cash because agility XP doesn't really help us right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into the episode. And there's 61 fletching coming in. We can now make adamantite slash mahogany crossbows and make adamantite crossbow bolts. We've still got uh, four more levels to go before we can do the ruby slash diamond bolt tips on the adamant bolts, but at least we can make them now. 62. 63. We can now make ruby tipped adamant bolts. We just got two more levels to go for diamond. 64. And there we have 65 fletching. We can now make the U short bows as well as diamond tipped adamantite bolts. So from here, I believe we're just going to jump right into Slayer. Uh, we are going to do Konar tasks rather than Neve tasks, at least for a little bit. Um, since money is the goal more so than uh, the XP, at least for right now, uh, that might change. I think I, I need to test it out a little bit, see what kind of uh, money we can get coming in for, through Konar on our way to 75. If that's not super duper feasible or it's a little bit slower than I am hoping for, then uh, we'll just jump over to Neve and try to blast out uh, as much XP as fast as possible to try to get to that 75 threshold. And then we'll just camp Gargoyles off task. And there we have another Hespori kill. Is this the bucket or the pet? Nope, never lucky. Okay, Konar, what task are we starting off with today? Fire giants in the catacombs of Korind. Okie dokie. Hey, our first ancient shard. We only need two more of these, I think, to make an arc light. 82 strength coming in. Oh, I didn't have my recorder set up, but uh, I just hit 80 hit points. Uh, it is also a new day because I was sleepy, but here we are. Hey, we just finished up our fire giants task. We did get one ancient shard since we were in the catacombs of Corin, but we did get two brimstone keys. Let's see if we get any lucky out of the, uh, the box. 183 monkfish, eh, some free cooking XP. Supplies. Ooh, gold ore. That's going to be really good for us later. Uh, it doesn't, uh, the gold ore isn't cash, which is what we're doing Slayer for, but the gold ore is what we're spending the cash on later. So to, it, it saves us money. It's a discount. Uh, let's see what the next assignment is from Konar. 189 worms. Easy peasy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get the harpoon. Um, if not, it is what it is, but uh, we, we hit the, the drop table last time we had a worms task and we ended up getting throwing knives So hopefully the harpoon shows up this time around. Hey, we just got a dragon sword drop. Uh, it's not the harpoon But it is the same drop rate um, It is what it is uh, I wish it was the harpoon, but uh, that's twice we've hit that drop roll and not gotten the harpoon Hey, 77 magic coming in from a high elk there. Uh, that's the level that we need for super heat glass thingy. That's going to be really useful later on. And there we have 68 slayer coming in. I uh, missed it, but uh, 78 range coming in near the end of the task. Okay, we just finished up the worm task. We're going to go uh, use these brimstone keys. We did get three from uh, the worms this time around. Uh, you know, I think it's pretty on par. We're usually getting like two to three keys per task, um, regardless of if it's worms or fire giants or whatever. But uh, 300K without even cashing in the brimstone keys yet, that's really nice for the cash stack since that's really uh, the end goal right that we're working on right now. First key, diamonds, uh, not super useful. Sharks, that's some cooking XP. And a redwood tree. Yeah, uh, that wasn't great. Um, well, let's see what the next, uh, let's see what the next task is from Konar. 121 hellhounds in the Witchhaven dungeon. 
Uh, I'm not even sure where that's at, but uh, we'll go knock that out. Okay, Konar, we are back for another task, but first we got two keys. Let's see if we get lucky. Hey, room play body, that's an elk. And plate legs, two elks. That's uh, helpful on the road towards more money. Ooh, 46 steel dragons though. Uh, I'm skipping that. Try again. 156 fire giants in the waterfall dungeon. Okie dokie. Okay, so we finished up the blood belt task. Only got one key this time. Uh, I don't know if we were getting lucky before or if we're getting unlucky now. But uh, let's see. Diamonds. Uh, some crafting XP. What about the next task? Uh, 123 Dagonoth in the lighthouse. That'll be a pretty quick one. So we'll just go uh, knock that out real quick. 83 strength. 69 Slayer coming in. Okay, so we just finished up the jelly task. We did get three keys this time around. Let's see uh, what the luck looks like today. Iron ore uh, might be useful, maybe. Ooh, cash. That's what we want. Cash is king. And coal. So basically, we just got a bunch of stuff to make steel bars. Okay. Uh, let's see what the next assignment is. 170 fire giants in the Brimhaven dungeon. That should be a relatively quick one. Um, so yeah, uh, I did all of this prep to do smithing and crafting and all of this, and then Giants Foundry came out yesterday. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to switch up the method that we've kind of set pat on the path forward on towards. I don't know what I'm saying. But I don't know if I'm going to switch up the method. Uh, we're probably just going to continue with kind of what we have in mind. Um, I I'm sure that is subject to change, at least to some degree. But uh, I'm kind of just waiting until everybody else figures out how that minigame functions. Um, because right now we're just focused on stacking up as much of a cash stack as we can. Currently we are up to almost 1.9 mil. And I think, uh, based on the old math that I had kind of prepped for the smithing and crafting grinds, I think we're still going to need like another four mil. So we're just going to keep on the path to 75 Slayer. We'll figure out the method that we end up using for smithing and crafting later. Right now, our goal is just to build up a cash stack and to get 75 Slayer to make it easier to build up said cash stack at Gargoyles. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go do a quick farming run and then we will get back to our fire giants in wherever it told me to go. Okay, is this the bucket? No, not the bucket. Oh well, we'll try again tomorrow. I don't know, based on when the seed spawns, I guess. Eighty-one hit points coming in, and eighty-four strength coming in shortly after eighty-one hit points. That brings us up to a fifteen seventy-five total. Okay, three more keys and a new task. Let's see what the task is. Uh, jellies in Fremenic Slayer dungeon, no issue. What about these keys? Coal. Gold ore is good for us. And yeah, so basically stuff to make more steel bars and uh, some gold ore. Not too bad. 70 Slayer. Only five levels to go until we unlock gargoyles. Okay, two more keys and to grab another task. Let's see what we get out of the keys. Oh, palm tree seeds. It'll be some good farming XP. And rune plate legs. We'll just go ahead and alk those now. Big key luck coming out of the Dust Devil's task with five brimstone keys this time around. Let's see uh, what we get. Ooh. Some alks. 
couple of diamonds. Rainar seeds, those are always good. Gold ore, that's going to save us money down the road. And pure essence, we never ever want to mine it, so to get it for free, not bad. Um, next task, greater demons in the catacombs. That's a pretty good task to follow it up with. Hey, okay, that is how that works. So we just got a dark totem as well as uh, ancient shards. I believe enough here to do arc light. Uh, Ricard's, oh, that's right. So I got to do it down there by the thing. But uh, yeah, I guess we're going to go for our first Skatizo kill. Hey, there we go. We have the arc light now. I gotta have 75 attack to wield it! No! Oh, that's... Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna wait and do the Skatizo kill, uh, later! We're just gonna bank- start banking totems, I guess. Alright. Oh, I feel so dumb. <laughs> And there's another Hispori down. Is this the bucket? No, but hey, a fair amount of willow seeds. Can't uh, be too upset. That's some more trees we can plant. Okay, finally got around to doing some clues today. Uh, ended up having to drop a hard clue as well as an elite. They just required some items that I don't have uh, on the account yet. And uh, it's not worth really... Uh, bothering people in my group to kind of do that but i do have a beginner and a me medium here the beginner about what you expect um and the medium hey we got a headband new collection log and a new unique 85 strength coming in 71 slayer coming in four more to go and another task down and two more keys to use. Diamonds on the first one. And cash. Hey, cash is king. What's the next assignment, Konar? 142 dust devils in the catacombs of Corin. That'll be another good money task. So we're, uh, XP is probably a little bit slower than Neef, but uh, we are raking in cash, which is oh the overall objective. So can't complain too much there although it is taking a little bit longer than maybe i had anticipated originally okay another hispori down is this the bucket finally no we're just never gonna get lucky on the bucket and there we have 74 farming we can now grow low fruit in Hasidious and crystal trees in Prif. Prif. <laughs> Why is everything so hard to pronounce? Okay, it's time to clean the bank out from clues again. We have a beginner, a medium, and an easy. Let's do a beginner first. Uh, yeah, about what you expect as usual. Pretty, pretty meat. Uh, easy. Uh, Amulet of Magic would have been nice a long time ago, but, uh, we got some, just, you know, stuff that we'll end up selling. And, uh, a white headband. I feel like we got a brown headband not long ago from some clues. So, I mean, we got a new unique as well as, uh, uh moderately useful, I guess, is what we could call some of this. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. 160 calphite in the calphite cave uh i think i know where that's at and we got three keys the turtles that's a new one 115k money's always good and some magic seeds that'll be useful later and there's 72 slayer and 86 strength coming in really close together there 82 hit points coming in three keys iron ore rune plate legs and some steel bars all right hey just doing a little bit of barrows and we got a varic skirt nice 
Hey, we just got the uh, broken dragon hosta. I think I should be able to take that to uh, the barbarian guy and get it actually like repaired. I'm pretty sure. Um, and we got some aberrant specters in the slayer tower. Another really good task. That's back to back really good herb task for us. So yeah, looking good. 61 hunter. Okay, another task down. Four keys this time. Let's see what we're getting. Plate bodies. That's good Alex. More good Alex with the rune full helm. Magic logs. That's good since we don't have a way to get those on our own. And some steel bars, so that'll save us some time later. Uh, next assignment. 32 bronze dragons. That is not happening. Not doing it. We got plenty of points. Try again. Dust Devils and Catacombs. That's some good money. All right, let's get to it. And we're back at Konar with another task down. Four keys to open. Coal. Dragon Arrow Tips. Oh, Mystic Robe Top Dusk. That's a, that's a collection log. And some rune plate leg. Let's see what the next assignment is. Hellhounds in the Stronghold Slayer Cave. That's a relatively easy, quick one. So yeah, let's just go knock it out. And there's another Hespori kill. Is this the bucket? Finally, maybe? No, still no bucket. We are 15 kills in. Oh man. Hey, 73 Slayer coming in. 87 Strength coming in. Okay, back at Konar with one key and we just finished up our 300th task. So we got a ton of points right now um, Snapdragon seeds that's gonna be useful later and Kurask that's our first time getting Kurask as a slayer task uh, We probably take a prayer setup over there, but let's get to it Well, is there anything better than getting all the way to your slayer task then realizing that the uh, yeah, this is a leaf bladed weapon. So I gotta come all the way back to a bank. I'm out of run energy and it's just, I'm frustrated right now. <laughs> 83 hit points coming in. Seventy four Slayer. Only one more to go and then it's over. And we're back at Konar. Let's do these keys. Dragon dart tips. I think that's new for us. And some more palm tree seeds. What about the next assignment? Aberrant specters in cat and corund. All right. Uh, I think that's the first time we're doing specters in corund. Uh, but uh, if there are any, if there are any similarities to like normal specters, then it's gonna be really good for supplies. So herbs and seeds and things like that. 88 strength. I think we are definitely on track for this to be our first level 90 on the account uh, And unless we get a whip anytime soon from this that's just going to stay the case <laughs> Okay, Turos definitely didn't do it, but uh, we're really 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 close uh, We did get a bunch of really good seeds and herbs and one key out of it Two palm tree seeds. Let's see what the next task is. 128 greater demons. We don't have to go anywhere. We, it's right here. This is the task that gets us 75 Slayer. And there it is. 75 Slayer. I'm, <laughs> it's been a long road. Uh, I'm very much feeling like uh, Frodo at Mount, at, uh, Mount Doom right now. Oh, it's so good. All right, so we're gonna finish this task. We only have 12 left to go and then we'll really take uh, stock of the situation Okay, we finally finished up the 75 slayer grind it has been a long road up to this point as you can see from doing Konar and doing it through the brimstone keys um we're not really gonna have to go and farm gargoyles hardly at all uh we are sitting at five mil cash stack as of right now um little bit of stuff here that we can alloc a bunch of this i need to get and put into the seed vault it looks like but uh that's a problem for future me um 
yeah so as you can see it's a little bit of a spoiler on what's kind of coming up um now that we have 75 slayer and we have the cash requirements that i've kind of put forth for the method going forward of training um i'm just gonna bang out 70 slayer i think uh starting next episode uh, i'm just i'm thinking i'm gonna need 70 or uh did i say slayer i don't know anymore mining but yeah I, i'm i think i'm just gonna bang out 70 mining um it, it it's i'm gonna need it for quest requirements uh achievement diaries stuff like that in the future and since i need the gold ore anyway as of right now as well as probably some coal since i'm kind of changing up the method a little bit probably gonna throw in some giants foundry i think is what it's called but uh yeah i just I, i'm just gonna do it now um probably starting next video before we start really purchasing gold ore and stuff like that but uh brimstone keys brimstone chests uh according to the loot tracker it was it captured 66 of them um which i'll probably throw that up on screen now and post but i i'm pretty sure we opened way more than that i think we were in the 80s last time i looked um either way i'm so happy to be done with that 75 slayer grind because now in the future when i need to get some quick cash together i i have the option to just go and camp gargoyles to do that they drop a lot of very useful and lucrative supplies as well as just their overall alkables and cash stack drops uh mainly being like gold ore steel bars um mithril bars i believe they drop chaos runes and death runes it's been a while i gargles have really been kind of my catch-all uh in on previous accounts throughout my runescape career i had uh at one point i think i had like my main and my range tank both camping um gargles just passively for money while i was training up one of my other accounts uh if memory serves me correctly my old iron man before uh i really dove too heavy into it i was kind of just getting a taste of the game mode group iron man definitely seems more uh my speed we do still have a vacancy in our five man group so if you are interested in starting on a fresh account uh with a group in mind for late game bossing and chasing the juicy loot and eventual maxing hey we've still got the vacancy you are more than welcome to apply uh you know just drop a drop a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you kind of a thing but uh if you've watched up to this point thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for all the support both on um the youtube as well as like twitter and all that other stuff uh usually links for that are in the description below as of now um the method that we've kind of set out for are things that are put into motion now that uh i think we're just gonna keep at at it for the most part um we did get a bunch of crafting xp from our brimstone chest we did get we're, we're gonna get a fair amount of crafting xp anyway from uh the gold ore method just to get our money back out of the gold bars by making them into the bracelets so yeah uh where that money goes after this probably kingdom yeah i would say that's probably a safe bet but also i'm kind of really eyeing um the whole like construction side of the grind so that's something that's probably going to come up in the future uh did some rough math the other day i think from where i'm at to 80 some construction is gonna take like almost 20,000 teak planks. And that sounds really expensive, uh, even for like a main account. Because the method I'm thinking about doing, rather than doing mahogany homes or something like that, is I'm kind of leaning towards just doing the uh, mythical cape rack things, which uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, is the reason why we're pushing towards the 73 smithing and the 65 fletching that we got this video and the money stuff that we now can just kind of pump out um yeah it's so that we can make diamond and ruby tipped daddy bolts 
which hopefully won't make will hopefully make dragon slayer 2 a little bit easier but uh yeah that, that's kind of where the future plans are for next episode this episode was a lot of fun even though i think uh, my eyes were a little bit bigger than my stomach knocking out what was it like eight slayer levels in one video took a little bit longer than i remember it taking granted most of the times that i've done that push uh for slayer levels i've had the use of a cannon i did it through neve tasks money was no object kind of a situation but doing it while making the money yeah it's it felt it feels good to achieve these goals on this account but uh yeah it took a little bit longer than i expected but uh yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh i'll see you in the next episode okay bye